Mexican independence. During the colonial period, most of New Spain's population, indigenous and European alike, sincerely accepted the rule of the Spanish monarch over the colony. Many had never even considered gaining independence from Spain. How did events in Europe affect colonial desires for independence? At the start of the 19th century, events in Spain changed the thinking of many criollo elite. In 1808, Francis Napoleon Bonaparte conquered Spain and put Spain's King Ferdinand VII in jail. The Spanish convened their National Assembly, which had not operated for many years, to rule in the King's absence. The Assembly drafted a new constitution that called for popular voting rights and a representative government, and it demanded increased revenue from the colonists in New Spain, which meant taxes. The criollo elite in New Spain loyal to King Ferdinand were fearful of a liberal constitution that would threaten their traditional privileges. They also felt squeezed financially by the economic demands of the new Spanish government. Resentment of the government in Spain was added to long existing criollo resentment of peninsulares. Although the peninsular population in New Spain was quite small, competition between criollos and peninsulares for status and position was fierce. Talk of Mexican independence began in earnest among the criollo elite a few years after King Ferdinand was imprisoned. How was the majority of New Spain's population involved in the independence movement? Many in the mestizo and indigenous populations were frustrated with their limited opportunities and increasing poverty. At the same time, many were loyal to the Spanish monarch. They generally directed their frustration towards the local government in New Spain. Some criollos believed that the masses could be organized to fight against the authority of peninsulares and the authority of the Spanish government in the colony. Miguel Hidalgo, a criollo parish priest, organized his largely mestizo and indigenous congregation in the first armed uprising against Spanish rule. On September 16, 1810, the date now celebrated as Mexico's Independence Day, he called on his congregation to regain their land and freedom from the Spanish. He spoke particularly about the land that had been stolen from the indigenous communities by the peninsulares, an issue that was of central importance to most indigenous people. In fact, most indigenous land had been confiscated by criollo landowners. Hidalgo organized an army of 20,000, mostly farmers armed with machetes and shovels, and led them to a nearby mining town to attack Peninsulares. Hidalgo had little control over his followers, and the army went on a rampage, killing hundreds. Ironically, both Peninsulares and Criollos were targeted, as the poor rural masses found both groups equally arrogant. Lacking organization, the army dispersed after a few months, and Hidalgo was executed by the colonial authorities. Many criollos became frightened at the peasant discontent that had been uncovered and lost their enthusiasm for independence. Fighting continued as small, independent guerrilla movements of indigenous and mestizo communities protesting their oppression spread across the country. Jose Maria Morelos, a mestizo parish priest who had been one of Hidalgo's officers, continued the rebellion south of Mexico City. He organized an army, mostly of mestizo and indigenous peasants, which won control of much of southern Mexico. 
1813, he convened a popular assembly that declared Mexico's independence from Spain. Before their new government could take effect, the colonial authorities crushed the movement and executed Morelos. How did Mexico gain independence from Spain? In 1814, Spanish guerrillas forced the French out of Spain and King Ferdinand returned to his throne. The elite of New Spain expected gratitude for their loyalty, but Ferdinand, fearful of losing control of the colony, sent troops to Mexico to reassert Spanish rule. Then, in 1820, a rebellion in Spain forced the king to accept the liberal constitution. The Spanish assembly had drafted in his absence. Many Mexican conservatives feared that the reforms threatened to overturn the old social order. Criollos and Peninsulares joined together and developed an independence plan to preserve their privileges. The Plan de Iguala called for an independent Mexico ruled by a monarch, equality between Peninsulares and Criollos, and Roman Catholicism as the official religion. In 1821, after limited fighting between Mexican and Spanish forces, Spain officially recognized Mexican independence. In the end, conservative Mexico had won independence from a much more liberal Spain.